guys and welcome. Um, first I want to wish you a happy new year. So happy new year lovelies. Let's hope that 2022 is going to be a happy and a healthy one. Emphasis on healthy. <laughs> if you're new here, hello my name is Amy. Please consider hitting that subscribe button before you leave and come and join our YouTube family. We are a lovely bunch. With that being said, pop the kettle on, pull up a chair. And let's dive into this giant bag of empties. <laughs> now I have been a bit naughty. Um, this is November's and December's. I just forgot to make the video. <laughs> so I thought I would just kind of just do it all in one go. Um, instead of dividing it up and just, you know, throwing stuff away. So let's start off. My go-to deodorant. I know it's an aerosol, it's not great for the environment, but it's the only one that I can kind of get on with. This is the Shaw, I've got Shower Fresh and Cotton Dry, 48 hours. It does become a bit powdery after a while, and I've noticed it's starting to stain some of my dark clothes. So um, I've gone on to Shaw's Invisible. So we will see how that's going. But yeah, this is okay, it's reasonably priced. It comes in huge cans, and I'm gonna put it in my bucket at my feet. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it would be easier rather than just loading it all up on the side. Um, I've got a micellar water here. This is a Garnier Active Rose Water Cleanse and Glow. This is 400 mils. I've now gone on to cleansing balms, so I'm not using this to remove my makeup anymore. I use it to remove swatches. Um, yeah, absolutely love it. I've got another one in the drawer, like I said, that I use to remove swatches. It never irritated my skin. It's just I found that balms are now a much more efficient way of removing my makeup. So that's why I've um, kind of gone on to that. Sorry, I've got an itchy nose. As soon as I stick, hit record, my nose starts itching. <laughs> it's just typical. I have got the Ear Cooking Cleansing Gel. This is 125 mils. This came in a subscription box. It's absolutely lovely. Um, I'm glad on this one occasion that Glossy Box and Look Fantastic kind of doubled up because I've got another one of these. It doesn't leave my skin feeling stripped or dry. It lathers up. I use it as a second cleanse after my balm. Really liked it. I'm kind of thinking of maybe buying a full size once the um, other one of these I've used up. So I like that. I have worked my way through the Pixie Skin Treats Rose Ceramide Cream. Um, this is 50 mils. It's very pricey, but it's absolutely lovely. If you've got dry skin or very dry skin, you will absolutely love this. Um, I've gone on to Skin and Me. There will be a video coming soon. And I have Tretinoin in um, the cream that I'm using. And this is excellent because it's kind of leaving my skin a bit dry. At the moment I'm purging, so I've got loads of breakouts. But yeah, this is absolutely amazing and I will repurchase that. I think that is sort of like my second or third tube. This is the Emma Hardy Midas Touch Revitalizing Cream. Now, somebody else in the house used this, not me. <laughs> so, um, I used it once and I didn't particularly like it, so I passed it on. It was just too much for my skin. It just left me looking like an oil slick. So um, somebody else kindly finished that off for me. This is the perfume, it's from Commodity and it's called Paper. This is absolutely stunning. Let's see if there's a tiny bit left. It's got kind of like a masculine but a floral scent to it. This is so strong that I was popping it on before work. I would come home, take my clothes off, wash it and you could still smell it on the clothes. It's absolutely crazy. I'm not going to buy a full size of this because, you know, I've got absolute tons of perfume, but it was really nice to try it and I was quite surprised. I have got the Revolution Butterfly Mascara. This has now, unfortunately, seen its day. <laughs> it's finished. I absolutely love this. It doesn't budge. It doesn't smudge. I was wearing it to work. Um, yeah, I will pick one of these up in the future. Absolutely loved it. And I'm going to keep the ring. I'm going to give it to one of my girls. I think they will um, quite like that. I have got the Pixie Skin Treats Rose Oil Blend. Um, I have combination oily skin, but every now and again my skin needs a little something extra. So after I've done sort of my makeup in the um, makeup skincare <laughs> in the evening, just before I go to bed, I will pop a few drops of this in the palms of my hands, warm it through, pat it on. And my skin just absolutely loves it. 
it doesn't like it if I put too much oil in sort of on consecutive days but you know a couple of times a week is absolutely lovely this doesn't leave me looking like a oil slick it's very gentle on my skin it's it's just really nice it's pricey though and I've got other oils that are kind of less expensive so I probably won't repurchase that one I have got a sample of this is the body shop and it's the Malayan charcoal mask now I used to have a full size of this and it was fine there we go. I've got this in my advent calendar um, from Glossy Box last year and finally got used to finishing it up. It really irritated my skin, this one. Um, I don't know if it, had been, it was out of date or my skin has changed, but it kind of burnt when it was on my skin and made it go bright red. Um, so, no, not repurchasing that one. I've got a body spray. This is going to take me back. This is Charlie Pink. <laughs> I picked this up in Asda with my shopping just because I've run out of body mists. Absolutely love it. It's very floral. It's very fresh. It's inexpensive and it's nice. So um yeah, like that one. And Charlie Red. <laughs> Who remembers Charlie Red? I bought a bottle a can of this for Ellie and it came without the cap, so I snapped the cap off and gave it to her. This one's another nice one. It's a bit more deeper and kind of mustier compared to Charlie Pink. Same price, got it from Asda. Absolutely love it. What have I got here? I have got Molten Brown. This is the relaxing Ylang Ylang. This was gorgeous. It was purple. I do like Molten Brown. It smells quite musty, but it's fresh at the same time. It's really hard to explain. Absolutely love it. Lava's up. Doesn't leave my skin feeling stripped. Doesn't irritate any intimate areas, which is important. So yeah, I um, really like that. But because Molten Brown's quite pricey, um, I tend to just use them when they come in the subscription boxes and um, I won't repurchase. This is the Revolution Cooling Cucumber Eye Gel. Now, the eye gel itself was really nice, but it comes on a doe foot and I really didn't like that. It lasted a long time. It really did cool my under eyes. Um, it helped depuff, which is fantastic. If this came in a pot, it would be brilliant but in the tube no and I think this cost me about three pounds which wasn't too bad but if you can see just over my shoulder I'm hoping that once I've edited it you can still see it an absolutely amazing friend bought me a skincare fridge or a mini fridge for Christmas so um I've been popping my skincare in there this would have been amazing <laughs> in the fridge but yeah not one I'm going to repurchase I have got the elf face cream this is a holy hydration I got it in a little set. This is really nice. Um, I've got a full size of this as well. It's really bizarre how it works because it goes on and my skin looks really oily and it feels greasy. And then after about five or 10 minutes, it's just the oiliness and greasiness is gone and my skin is just left feeling really soft. So I really like that. So I'm glad I picked up a full size. Plus it has SPF in it, which there probably isn't enough SPF in there for you not to use an additional SPF but the added extra SPF could not hurt. I have got here a sample of the Versace Dylan Turquoise. This is gorgeous. This was gifted to me um, from a friend. She went on holiday, bought it back. I fell in love with it. And then um, somebody in the house for Christmas has bought me a full size. This is strong, it's floral. It's slightly masculine. It's absolutely stunning. It's everything I like from a perfume and if I can show you what the bottle looks like the bottle looks like this it's absolutely gorgeous yeah it's, it's a bit bougie and a bit nice but I absolutely love that I have got the Cordially this is the Beauty Elixir smoothing glowing complexion it's a facial spray this is bizarre because it's got a bit of a oil to it Let's see if I can spray it yeah it has a bit of a fragrance to it as well it's kind of like quite lemony and fresh i would just spray this on um sort of before i do my skincare after i do my skincare throughout the day if i'm not wearing makeup because it's got a, like an oil to it i didn't want it to break down didn't irritate my skin left it feeling quite fresh and refreshed really liked it and it gave kind of like a little glow which is nice a nice subtle glow glass bottle it looks gorgeous and it took me forever to work through so yeah but I won't be repurchasing that one 
I have got, this is what made me fall in love with <laughs> cleansing balms. Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. Absolutely loved it. It removed my makeup. It was very gentle on my skin. Gorgeous. And what I liked about this was that when you went to, because I removed my um, the balm with a cleansing cloth, that when it was coming off, it was turning to a milk and it was not oily or greasy because I, I really don't like that. So yeah, I was really impressed with that. And I have got a small sample here of the Prey Ageless. This is the neck and decolletette cream. Um, wasn't impressed with this at all. The only thing I liked about it was the fragrance. Every time I used it sort of here and on here, it just balled up. And um, you know, I just, for the price, I know this is a sample and I got it from a subscription box, but for, this is quite pricey stuff. So I was not impressed at all. I really dislike it when my skincare balls up. It drives me crazy. This is the Elemis Superfood Glow Priming Moisturiser. I didn't like this. I used it up, but I didn't like it. It just left my skin looking like I'd done a 20K marathon. <laughs> I didn't look glowy. I looked sweaty and messy, and I really didn't like it. It absorbed into the skin, and my skin liked it. I just didn't like how it looked. Um, so yeah, won't be repurchasing that one. I've got the In Transit Camera Close-Up. This is a mask, moisturiser and primer in one from This Works. As a primer, I didn't like it, but as a moisturiser, I really enjoyed it. I've used this at night. It's very uh, thick, it's nourishing. There's a very subtle fragrance to it. I just really enjoyed it. When I woke up in the morning, my skin just looked refreshed. It looked healthy and happy. <laughs> and I like it when my skin looks healthy. So yeah, I may pick a full size of that up in the future. I have got the, oh, please excuse my pronunciation, Galilini. This was the eye contour cream. It was okay. It's an eye cream. It wasn't absolutely amazing. It just did what it said it would do. It's hydrated my under eyes. I don't look 20 years younger, unfortunately, but it was hydration. Um, I won't be repurchasing that one. This is a small sample of, I think it's like the Elemis Pro Collagen Serum, I think. Um, yeah, I didn't really like it. This <laughs> is a tiny, tiny amount. Um, they are so strongly fragranced, sort of like the Pro Collagen Marine range. Um, yeah, won't be repurchasing it. Too much fragrance is too much for the skin. So I've got a lot of masks here work through these bottles this is the refine me plus salicylic acid cleanser with ceramoids it cleanses and smooths um this is Superdrug's own brand um i thought i'd dive into their skincare a little bit it was okay the only thing was is that it lathered up well as a second cleanse it was nice it left my skin feeling uh, skin feeling clean but it felt dry and tight. And you know when you're kind of making those funny faces because you can feel how kind of tight your skin is. So um, I went repurchasing that. And I think it was about eight pounds as well. So I was quite disappointed. It wouldn't be an empties without this, would it? <laughs> if you've been with me a while, I'd probably go through one of two of these a month. This is the Kind and Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. This is from Asda. It's a pound a bottle. I've been using this for a few years now. Absolutely love it. I remove my eye makeup with this and my lip products with this and then go in with the balm afterwards. Um, I'm just not comfortable rubbing balm sort of around my eyes. It is kind and gentle. It has never stung. It has never left my eyes feeling sore or tight and it removes even waterproof makeup. It's absolutely gorgeous. I recommend that. This is the TG Bedhead After Party Super Smoothing Cream. Now I got a bigger size of this in, I think it was my Feel Unique Beauty box. I think one of the samples was on there. I picked this up in their pick and mix samples and I absolutely love it. It really does, I've got it in my hair today. It really does leave my hair feeling smooth, soft. And I don't get as many kind of flyaways. You know, if moisture hits my hair, I still go boof, <laughs> look like a poodle but this really does help. I'm going to definitely pick up a full size of it. I have fallen in love with it. We're coming to the end of what's in the bag. This is the Body Shop Skin Defense Multi 
protection face mist and this has SPF 30 it's anti-pollution this is 60 mils um, I really like this when I first started um, using it I probably got down to about here and it was absolutely fine I would spray this on over the top of my makeup if my um, sunscreen had been on quite a while just as kind of like a little top me up now this as you can see it's not finished just because I noticed that um, when I was spraying on top of my makeup it was leaving big white blotches everywhere so I think coming towards the end it just wasn't performing as well as it did but this really did help as kind of like an added SPF protection expect I find it hard popping SPF on over the top of makeup <laughs> so I tend to kind of look for kind of sprays like this it's quite pricey I'm not going to repurchase it but I am going to look to see if I can find something that's similar um, what we got here this is the balm balm it's the deep cleansing balm and this has fra frankincense in it this was perfect for Christmas <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous as you can see it's all gone um i loved it just a small amount i would melt it down in my hands straight over my face go in with a clean um cotton or muslin cloth um yeah and remove it all this is another one that also turns into kind of like a milk so it doesn't leave my skin looking oily or greasy it's absolutely lovely and i really like it um i'm hoping love lula put another one in the box soon <laughs> I have got the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Cleansing Balm, here's another one that I really liked. It performs just as well as the Elemis I think and it also turns into the milk so you don't have that greasy oily mess. It didn't leave my skin feeling stripped, it removed all of my makeup, absolutely loved it. And this is the Filorga Time Filler. This is the an Absolute Wrinkles Correction Cream. Now as a moisturiser it was fine. I don't look 20 years younger do I so it didn't work <laughs> it I, I don't have very many what I would call wrinkles I have kind of like you know fine lines developing I'm almost 37 so my skin is aging and it does need help but this didn't work at all so I was quite disappointed so if you're thinking of that don't waste your money um I have got here a sample of the first aid beauty facial radiance pads these are you get 10 pads in there absolutely love these I've used these quite a few times now um, I can't use them at the moment because I'm using skin and me and you have to really watch what you're kind of using you pair back your skincare routine quite dramatically like I said there is a video coming soon to explain it all because um, obviously these are they've got active ingredients in so I can no longer use these but they're absolutely lovely they really did kind of help smooth my skin out tone down the redness um, yeah help with breakouts so I really did like those and this is a sample of the Florena I'm hoping I pronounce that right anti-wrinkle day cream it says natural with fermented honeysuckle and hyaluronic acid and um, now I do have my skin doesn't particularly like hyaluronic acid very much but it liked this and it kind of left my skin feeling softer more hydrated it gave it a subtle glow so I'm going to look into how much a full size of this would be you've got 1.5 mils in here um, I got that from the pick and mix also so yeah I was, I was quite pleased that I chose that one I now have masks <laughs> um, if I can remember rightly we've got quite a few disappointing ones here some of these I have written on this is who's this from it just says couple goals it is the Mrs Christmas one printed sheet mask it's vegan doesn't say where it's from it might be esfolio or something like that um this really didn't fit properly it was way too small for my face the print was cool because it, it, i looked like mrs claus but it kind of slipped and i didn't really get because it didn't fit i didn't get enough of it on my face to be able to see what the benefits were so it was kind of on it sat on my skin for about five minutes and then came off because it just irritated me so yeah unfortunately didn't get on with that one this is the Real Hyaluron Hydra Care Mask and this is from Sun By Me. I really enjoyed this. It left my skin feeling very hydrated, soft, which was good. Um, it didn't mess with my skincare. I really liked it. It just give that, gave it that boost of hydration that it needed. So I'll be looking into those. This is the, oh, I can never pronounce this, Iron Lip Superfood. This is a pumpkin mask. It was absolutely fabulous for kind of like that, that full time. 
it was nice um it was it just gave me hydration i don't know kind of what benefits a pumpkin on my face would have been but i didn't really see any um but yeah it, it was nice to just use and just have some hydration um this is the esfolio charcoal essence sheet i really do like charcoal masks i know they're kind of like a bit like they don't really work but i like them they do help with kind of like my breakouts they help calm my skin down and give it just that little bit of a deep clean it's probably all psychological but <laughs> i like them um i'm leaking fluid everywhere all over me and this here's another one here's another charcoal one it's the charcoal sheet clarity and tightening and this is from Eulonol. Um, it didn't really tighten my skin but it did kind of help deep clean it and yeah it, it, i got hydration from it it made me feel better and that's all that makes sense um, I have got the It Skin Carrot Mask and I've put this very large and didn't fit. It's slipped and flapped, mask tore, dried down, tons of serum, nice subtle glow. So there we go with that one. I think I really liked this one. This is the Argan Nourishing and Moisturising Mask from Estude House and it said it fitted well, serum was very thick, didn't slip, cooling, nourished skin, healthy. It made my skin look healthy i'm gonna look into buying some more of these um and it gave a lovely glow because i was really impressed um and I've, i'm not often impressed with masks so i was very pleased with that one this is the moisturizing foot masks you get two socks and it says it moisturized cooled nice fragrance and a good fit and it just helped the dryness i get dry feet <laughs> just like i get dry hands um, yeah and it really did help so I do want to pick some more kind of foot masks up this is the collagen mask and where are you from farm stay and it I've put there's too much serum it dripped everywhere didn't fit very well so I took it off early <laughs> enough said this is the AHC natural essential mask um, and I put didn't fit well, slipped, dripped, wasn't impressed. Um, I went through about two weeks of every mask I used was just a dud for me. I know a dud is a bit of a harsh word, but I just really didn't get on with it, whether it slipped, dripped, didn't fit. Yeah, and um, as you can see, I've, <laughs> there are a lot of them here. This is the Stelby Final Brighting Mask, and I put didn't fit, too much serum dripped, and didn't notice any brightening at all. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I think I'm quite blunt <laughs> when I write my little notes out on the back. This is the Jigot Cucumber Real Ampule Mask. Um, and I put soothed, skin looked calmer, felt fresh and fitted well. So yay, I had a good one. <laughs> and the last one I've got is the JM Solution Active Jellyfish Vital Mask. Now I know I said I wouldn't repurchase these, but I did get sent one um in my face mask club subscription so i will use up what i have i just won't um buy them and i've put this called face fe called face felt cold gorgeous glow fitted well felt like jelly this mask is amazing absolutely amazing if you've not seen um my review on it i will link it up above or i will link it down below if i can remember rightly absolutely amazing the only thing is they're not vegan because they do contain parts of a jellyfish we didn't get to the bottom of what part of the jellyfish it contained but it says it can contains extract of jellyfish and that is why i can't bring myself to buy them because jellyfish could be harmed in making these <laughs> sounds a bit funny but you know yeah but they are absolutely amazing and i was really blown away by this mask and i was blown away again when i used it for the second time so there, um, I need some tea. <laughs> that was a massive bag. I can now put my bag away in the cupboard and refill it for um, January. Yeah, hopefully I'll remember to do the empties this time. Let me know if I picked up or used any products that you're kind of using at the moment. And if there are any products that I said I didn't get on with, let me know if you used them and um, if you've got a way of kind of using them. I'm also thinking about bringing back my kind of faves and fouls videos um they never used to do particularly well so i just i scrapped them 
but I've got a lot of kind of favorite products I've come across and some real duds <laughs> so you know if you want to see those then just drop me a comment down below and um, I will start making them so thank you for joining me again today and I hope to see you again soon in the meantime lovelies please take care bye bye <laughs>